So Aziz Anjar from Turkey is a Turkish and US citizen. hem insan olarak verdiği tatminlik var hem de bunun insanlığa faydalı olacağını biliyorsunuz. O, o, o onu o, hiçbir şeyle değiş. Yani no, ben Nobel'e almasaydım bile oradaki ke keşifler 100 bin 100 yıl sonra yine ders kitaplarında olacak. Bunu okuyan bir Türk çocuk 100 yıl sonra bu bu 1503 13'te Pre şu harita yaptı. 1981'de, 1992'de Aziz Sancar da bunu keşfetti. Bu Türk çocuk bunu bilecek. O önemli. Aziz Sancar. He devoted his life to science and he harmonized science into his life. His first award was from the contented parents of children he healed when he was a young doctor in Savur, a small province of Mardin. His most significant prize has been the Nobel Prize from the King of Sweden for his discovery about the mechanisms of DNA repair and contribution to mankind when he was a senior scholar. Those were the happiest days of my life, was his quote for his years in Savur as a young doctor. There is no fulfillment like saving the lives of others. After years of hard work and long hours in the laboratory, he was awarded the Nobel Prize. He says, that was one of the special days of my life. He was, of course, very happy to win the highest honor in science. But the main reason was because science was the headline for months in Turkey. And people were excited about it and inspired about scientific research. Because it gave him the opportunity to encourage Turkish youth to do scientific research. Because this award also brings recognition to the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill, which has supported his research for over 30 years. Aziz Sanjar, born in Savur, Mardin, as the son of Abdul Ghani and Maryam Sanjar, a very crowded farmer's family. He finished his first and secondary schools in Savur and graduated from high school in Mardin. What they were suffering was not really poverty, but in fact, some sort of deprivation. He was barefooted in summers until he was 14. He didn't have shoes except for school days. He received his medical degree from Istanbul University and his PhD from the University of Texas at Dallas. He then worked and studied for five years at Yale University before becoming a member of the faculty at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. Trying to achieve always a bit more, always a bit more. His life is not only full of success with accomplishments and contributions in science, but also a long and tough journey full of adventures. At the age of six, he started to enjoy the school life with the help of his illiterate parents and with the endless support of his brother, Kenan. He calls him his idol who became a general in the years that followed. His teachers in Savor schools were graduates of the village teachers institutes established by the new republic. At the age of 11, he started discovering the secrets of nature. He allows ants to march on his body, examines miraculous changes of almond trees. He will go beyond the limits of imagination and test his patience, his determination. At the age of 15, he traveled to Marden to continue his education. There, 
he loved to study French and especially chemistry. Throughout his early life, he was a devoted student and soccer player. He dreamt of wearing the national team jersey and was even invited to try out for the under-18 Turkish national team. However, he realized that he had an even greater dream – to become a chemist and solve the mysteries of the human body. At 17, he became a hard-working medical student and at 22, he became a doctor determined to pay his gratitude to his country, a healer with the slogan of free treatment. But always he wanted to understand why some medicines cured diseases like tuberculosis and others did not. At the age of 25, he came to the United States to study biochemistry and molecular biology, sometimes discouraged sometimes staying awake in the laboratory all night, but always showing patience and never losing his determination to understand the secrets of living organisms. At the age of 30, he fell in love with Gwen, a scholar like himself. They got married. A lifetime companionship will begin between the two and Gwen will become a true Turkish lover. He would come home from his laboratory when he made his discovery that will lead him to the Nobel Prize and would share his first excitement with his wife. Gwen, I made a very important discovery for mankind today. Only I and God know about it. By the age of 45, Aziz Sanjar had made many important discoveries in the field of DNA repair. By the age of 55, Many of his discoveries were included in science textbooks and science histories. By the age of 60, he received the Koch Award, which is the most prestigious science award of his country. Together with his prize money, his wife's support and their personal savings, he established the Aziz and Gwen Sanjar Foundation and Turkish House. The foundation offers housing and moral support to Turkish students studying in the USA. I suffered a lot when I first came to the USA. I don't want them to experience the same, he said. A second purpose of the foundation is to introduce Americans to Turkish culture and history. At the age of 69, he was awarded the Nobel Prize. Like a reward, offered to the life of science. At 70, he presented the Nobel Medal to Anit Kabir, to his Atatürk, to Turkey, in a solemn ceremony acknowledging his great debt to the education system established by Atatürk. <laughs> Sayın Sancı, gerçekten bu Nobel Kimya Ödülü'nün alması sebebiyle Sarsın milletim adına tekrar kutlu tebrik ediyorum. Ve bu madalyanın Amit Kadir'de sergilenmesini de gençliğimiz için geleceğe yönelik bir işaret fişeği olarak görüyorum. Ve daha önce Nobel ödüllerini alma noktasında inanıyorum ki bu adeta bir yol haritasını belirleme olacaktır. Çok çok teşekkür ediyorum. Sağlık, sıhhat, afiyetle geleceğinizin inşallah hazırlık olmasını diliyorum. Bu madalyayı buraya vermekle Atatürk'e ve Atatürk'ün sıra arkadaşlarına Türkiye Cumhuriyeti'ni kuranlara vefa borcumu ödedim. Aziz Sanjar Some walk endless under the stars. He spent long hours in his laboratory with endless patience and love. Some have dreams of holidays. He always dreamt of new discoveries for mankind. Most people carry the pictures of their loved ones in their wallets. 
as the DNA repair map. He is a man of fidelity. He was always loyal to his family members back in Turkey during his 40 years in the USA. Kardeşimin bu başarı kazanmasını ben hiç yadırgamış değilim. Dediğim gibi insanla hizmet etmek gayreti içindedir. Hiçbir maddi düşüncesi asla yoktur Aziz'in. Yani maddeyle hiçbir ilişkisi olmayan, zevkle, sefayla, eğlenceyle hiç alaka ilgisi olmayan, sadece efendim insanlık için efendim buluşlar özellikle bu tür kanser ve onun gibi hastalıklarda bir çare bulmak için, bir çözüm bulmak için bütün hayatını vakfetmiştir bu işe. Kendisi son derece mütevazi bir insan. Hiçbir kibir yoktur, bir gösterişi yoktur. Çok sade bir insan. He also showed his gratitude to his professor Muzaffer Aksoy, who opened up the doors of American universities for him. He often mentioned his name and visited him. He is also loyal to his American universities for offering him the opportunities of endless freedom and for sharing his enthusiasm for scientific discoveries. Aziz Sanjar believes in the infinite potential of science for the betterment of mankind. He says, the world will never be a better place unless governments invest more in science than in defense. After receiving his Nobel Prize, President Obama invited him to the White House and Sanjar showed no reluctance to express his concern about the 20% budget cut for scientific research. Yes, the path leading to the Nobel Prize was rough and it required great patience. Sanjar, with a superhuman working pace, realized six very fundamental discoveries during his long life of research. Of those six discoveries, five are about DNA repair. Following an article about jet lag, during a long flight, he made a discovery about the proteins conducting the human biological clock. He is also an inspiration to other scientific researchers trying to find a cure for diseases like cancer. He is patriotic, has a deep love for Turkey. He describes his homesickness like this. The people of my homeland are very warm. I have never seen anything like it anywhere else. My eyes are filled with tears every time I visit Turkey. His heart is filled with Atatürk, but also he remembers the magical verses of Yunus Emre. He fulfills his longing for his country with the folk songs of Ruhi Sur. He admires the perseverance and folk songs of Aşık Vesel. Uzun ince bir yoldayım Gidiyorum gündüz gece Aziz Sanjar has a generous heart. He used to distribute medication free of charge when he was a small town doctor. He established a fund in the United States and provided a scholarship for the students of Savur High School. This generosity shows in the establishment of the Turkish house in Chapel Hill. Sharing for all, giving to the people in need devoting himself. Aziz Sanjar has another dream. In order to reach more students, to render family warmth to each and every student, to celebrate Turkish culture, and to educate Americans about the history and culture of his homeland. He and Gwen have a dream of building a second larger Turkish house. 
they hope to purchase the land before the end of this year and to begin construction as soon as possible. Aziz Sanjar is humble. He has the soul of a dervish. He is our pride. This is why he is the face of shared love, common goals and consciousness in our country, following his Nobel Prize. His statues were made, stamps were issued under his name. Many universities and schools in Turkey bear his name. But most importantly for Turkish students willing to follow a scientific path, he became an inspiration, a role model. So, what else do you need? May God bless your heart, Aziz Sanja. Memlekete insanlığa önemli katkılar yapmak için Robert College'de mezun olmaya gerek yok. Savur'dan, Sürgüc'den, Türkiye'nin herhangi bir üniversitesinden, lisesinde mezun olup hem memlekete hem insanlığa önemli katkılar yapabilirsiniz. Bizim çocuklara güven vermemiz lazım. Yani bu çok önemli.